Let's take a look now at Easy Pose, Sukhasana. The name is a bit of a misnomer because Easy Pose isn't so easy for everybody. Sometimes you, when you go to sit down on the floor, this could be you. This is you sitting all hunched over and your knees are almost up to your chin because you're so tight and the hips are kind of strained your back. That's okay. Meet yourself where you are now. You can find different ways for you to be able to sit on the floor. So one of them is by taking it, folded up blanket or towels, sit near the front edge of that. That gives you a little bit of height. You want to aim to be able to sit up tall in easy pose. So again, if you're still slouching, then find some more height. You can use a block if you have one, or some cushions, or more blankets or towels. I have many options and ways to do this. Now, when you're seated up higher on something, turn around here. You may find that your knees are still hanging way up in the air, and that can be hard on the hip joints. So what I'd like to do is take a rolled up blanket and take your blanket or a towel, whatever you have, use what you have, fold it in half, roll it up, and then tuck it under the knees and around towards the back. That way you have the support here. If you don't have a blanket or don't want that option, you can put more blocks or cushions under your knees, anything to give yourself that support. So find where you can sit up tall and support your knees. And again, if sitting down on the floor is just not an option for you, use your chair. Find your seat in your chair. Forward in your chair, leg 90 degrees, hands on the thighs, sit up nice and tall, engage the legs. And that's a few versions of easy pose. Let's take a look now at Baddha Konasana, bound angle, or sometimes you've heard it called butterfly pose. So I have a seat on the floor. Find, first of all, where you can sit up tall. If you're seated on the floor and you're really, really slouching and it's hard to keep the knees down, then work to find a seat that's comfortable by propping yourself up on something. I like to use a, a blanket in this posture. So find a folded blanket, sit up on the edge of that. You can also sit on a block or some cushions and then bring the soles of the feet together. Now the feet can be out here, or they can be in closer to the body. Find which is most comfortable for you. And maintain your tall seated position. Roll the shoulders back. The hands can rest on the shins or the ankles. Find a good place for you. Sit up nice and tall. And then just take a few breaths and join this posture. out of this place the hands on the sides of the knees and bring the knees together. You can also do this posture in the chair. Sitting on the floor it's not available to you right now. Your chair and what you want to do is have something in front of you such as a couple of blocks or some firm cushions maybe even a stack of books. Sit forward in your chair, place your feet on the blocks and bring the soles of the feet together to allow the legs to open and allow that stretch through the inner thighs. And that is Buddha Konasana.